Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. Uh, my name is Keith. This handbook right here is Hand Tools, Their Correct Usage and Care. This booklet was prepared and issued to members of the Armed Forces through the courtesy of the Training Service Section's General Motors Ward Products. General Motors Corporation, Detroit, Michigan, copyright 1943. General Motors Corporation. All right, I'm going to go put these in the cupboard here and then we're going to come back and we're going to go through the rest of this box. All right, <clears throat> here we go. And uh, that does slide underneath there pretty good. <clears throat> we'll check the very bottom uh, last in there. And we're going to just start at the top like we did on the other box. And... Uh, I think that that's just a piece of piece of rubber. All right, uh, rubber was used a lot for knocking knocking grit and knocking buildup out of discs and things like that. Now there's a ton of pennies in here, and these are all wheat back pennies. So he was collecting wheat backs, and I don't know if any of them are significant or not. Um, but I'll go ahead and and I'll grab these, and you know. If somebody found the rest of my dollar, you know, where to bring it, drop it off, okay. Um, Queen Elizabeth there. Alright, so there's some pennies, and we'll check those out later. Alright, um, Allen wrenches. That's a weird uh, insert there, but never used one. A couple more wrenches here for uh, micrometers and stuff like that. This is for, for the barrels. That's why you see a little hole right there. And then that, that fits in there and then you can twist your barrel and align your lines with the, um, the and there's different wrenches for different size um, micrometers too. Alright, so that's what, those, that's what those wrenches are for. Uh, another stone in here, half moon stone. Now these Allen wrenches, uh, there's 316. I'm just seeing a metric or not. 3 8 Alright, let's move on. Move on to the one down below it. Alright, a little bit more interesting here. Here's another tap handle. And this one, most of the time, they end up sliding all the way out. And, uh, yeah, a quarter 20. Uh, two flute tap really a nice one this has got a dual step uh, tap grab on there it's, it's a no name all right inspection mirror you always need to be able to re read and look behind there he's actually got a couple of them in here uh, we'll just move a couple of those up to there. All right, what do we got here? We got a level, an actual bubble in here. Okay, this is a Sterrett, number 135. That is cool. All right, let's see. Center finder, micro. Still moves. Awesome. I have so many straights and quarters. I don't have an actual cone shape. And this has the literature in here also on it. At the moment, it tips or jumps approximately to the side. That's when, that's when uh, it, it's on center. All right. And I'm going to go through. I'm going to cover that because so many guys think that when it's off center and then it just comes back just to where it lines up, that's zero. But it's not. It's not zero till it jumps. All right. You got to find that sweet spot. And the case even. 
That is that's too cool. There's another good find. All right, here's. Remember, I was telling you about that. That one had it broken. Somebody really trashed out one of these. I think it was in the other box, but I was holding. Uh, you just heard the spring, okay? That's and that's what I was holding there also was another one of these and the spring. So this ball sits in here like this, and you can change out these tips. And this was with the one that was crashed, that burned out. So, and this is a stirret. The, the, this is probably more stirret tools than a, <laughs> I've seen in one location in a long time. Okay, so there's other tips to this too as well. Here they are right here. There's one, there's two, here's three. Looks like we got the whole set in here. This is this is another good find. I think that the that four, the pointer and those those offset ball, the contact tip of a hundred thousands. I think that was a hundred thousands. And the ball of two. Right there, that's stare at number eight. 28 awesome oh when I before I put everything back in here there was one V block in here and this is a stare V block too now I don't know if somebody modified it I've never seen four V's in here um, but this is a number 268 okay we're gonna put that up here in the top uh, Stone. All right, we got some scales here. All right, a thirty-second and sixty-fourth, and we've got uh, we got fiftieths uh, and hundredths. Each one of those lines there is twenty. Each one of those is a hundred. There. This is a Lufkin rule. I have, I, I favor the the half-inch skinnies there as well. Okay, now here's uh, here's tens on both sides there, and then fiftieths on that side. That's neat. That's a sterret. Fiftieths, tenths. I like that. All right, and then here's a sixteenths and eighths, thirty seconds. 64s, another stare. There's another good find. You know, some of the things that people will lose out of the box right away are a lot of glitter things. Okay, and I am, I'm, you know, somebody, somebody mentioned the other day, um, why don't you be a real machinist and use a, a, a caliper? Um, you know. It, Real machinists also use real measuring rulers, scales. Right. Um, that's just a divider there for the drawer. Some nice round files. Another good center drill. Another one in there. I'll just leave them in there for now. There's a couple good center points. All right, there's another knock wedge. Nice flat radius on here. May have been made out of a file. Um, I saw his other one here. He's, you know, he's he's, he's making his handles again. Okay, he's, you know, you got to keep up with that rule book there. No, you know, keep a handle on your files there. All right, and uh, of course here's a clasp, and and I'm glad uh, there wasn't a clasp thrown out on the outside of this box here. All right, a fish tail. There's an Oli, I don't know, let's see if we can get a, it's kind of gummy right here, let's see if we can get something to wipe that off, so we can see who made it. Brown and Sharp Manufacturing, tempered, it's a nice fish tail. I don't know, somebody wanted to save the end of a file or whatever. 
Alright, now, oh, this is a shame, but here's a Sterrett. Now, I think this is a radius gauge right here. And it is. Fishtail style radius gauge. Female and males. Alright, and that's Sterrett number. 178A. We need to clean that up. A couple more uh, carbide tool bits and you know some center punches and a couple chisels probably the only thing good left in there is you know a couple center drills in there and uh you know that center punch might have a good feel i kind of like that i have a couple uh my dad had a couple uh old center punches back in the bonnie air um i kind of liked them okay and that was kind of a neat treasure too so I'm going to put that up there. I'm going to keep this up here as well. All right. Now, <clears throat> let's move on over to this side here. Did we sit, we do the top drawer over here? Um, no, we didn't. Uh, because I would have commented on some more of these blades right here. They're all over the place. And we still haven't found the handle for them yet. All right. Um, don't know. Here, here is a scribe. And this is a ball, and I have to, I'm going to have to check and see if this don't fit in my, um, the butt end of my combination square, okay? That would be ideal for that. That's it. actually, I think that's exactly where that came from, but which one, we don't know, okay? Um, 3 eighths Craftsman Chisel. Um, it's been well used. You can see how it rounds off though. It's a, you know, it is a softer chisel All right, here's a Custom bottom tap. I've done that before if I needed to get down in there. There's another one of those dowel pins All right, and some more Allen's got to go through the Allen's to make sure that you know, we got some good ones in here for uh, tool holders A couple other pins you always kind of like like having these measuring between gears and teeth they're always kind of handy to have um, I don't really see anything else in here that's too important now here there might be a holder for this alright so this is a scraper you can see it's hollow in the middle and this probably slipped into a holder alright and aha uh aha -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> back back with the where I think over here Okay, let's see. Let's see if it happens. No, it, it, the stair is too fat. This was a, a depth scale. Went over a scale like that, and then you keep it in your pocket. So we're on the eye. We're going to keep the eye open for a skinny scale in here. And uh, there's the clip for it anyway. All right, let's move on to the next drawer down. And this is another item that's up there. Kind of like the little treasures out of here might fit into something. Um, he was, uh, this guy really was into um, making modified keys. And uh, of course every machinist needs tweezers because we pulled out many. Um, these I would have thrown away already though. Um, hey, look at that. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Right there. Right there. You got to do it without cutting yourself. Right there's one of those blades. All right, and three sided scraper.
Pretty cool. Okay, where's that other one? Now that we know. There it is. Alright. That's a, that's a unique tool. I like that. Alright, back to our drawer here. Anything else good in there? Oh, there's another another fishtail. Caspier Machinery Company, Providence, Rhode Island. So they stamped out their own little fishtail right there, but it doesn't have any information on it at all. It's like a dud. Um, it would be cool to have a hole in it for your key ring, but you should have you should have all the information on there. I would think. I mean, you know, it's, it's the way I would want it. Um, all right, let's move on down to the next one. There's a long set screw. I don't see anything else unique in there. Let's come down to the next one. Okay, another uh, finder, edge finder. Now this one here is a. Helos. Made in Germany. Same kind of thing. You should be able to unscrew this. And it does. It was just a little tight. Alright, now there should be some other units to go along with this. And I don't see them in here. Now here's another scale. Oh, it got caught. <laughs> I hate when that happens. All right, general, general makes some, you know, they're they're pretty decent also, sixteenths and thirty seconds on that side, and sixty fourths and and eighths on that side. All right, here's the fish tail here with everything on it, and this is a general General Hardware Manufacturing Company, New York, made in USA. Very nice. I gotta add that blank one up there too, just for a joke. Okay, now this guy was into shaving. Here's another razor right here. And I don't know if he just shaved regularly. And here's another one of his quick burrs. All right, we just pulled this out here, and uh, anyway, we we found the another Wiggler uh, center finder, and uh, we'll go ahead and throw that up here now. Um, here's here's another example of silver soldering um, uh, a tool bit. And here's a combination of a turning tool bit here, and then he he silver soldered this piece right here on the other end of his uh, core mat. And this is a nice little plunge tool for some kind of a snap ring or e clip uh, ring groove maker. That's kind of cool. All right, so another quick bird. It looks like this is the one that he used all the time. And I don't know where the case is to it. All right, we got some more. What do we got in here? Um, oh, we got some. We got some feeler gauges in here. Nice big lettering on there. Castar. Castar is the name. All right, so we got a couple sets of feeler gauges here. And. See what we got here. New York, New York City, Russell Brothers, thread gauge. Sixteen to thirty-four, forty, forty-two on that side. Let's see what we go up to here. This is a real nice set. Needs a little bit of lubrication. Four. Four to fifteen. Fifteen threads, that's an oddball there. Okay, four to fifteen and sixteen to what did I say? Forty-two. I like that. That's a that's a keeper. Union tool. There's the forty. And on this other side here, four. To 15 also all right a couple nice thread gauges there and a couple nice feeler gauges there all right uh, 
a couple center drills, and a couple files. Nothing else too spectacular in there. And we've got a couple micrometers in here. JT Slocum Company. So Socom Company, Providence, Rhode Island. May 12, 96, April 13, 97. Stare it. Ratchet still works. Missing something out of the end there. Oh, I bet you that's it right there. Same thing that was missing out of the other one there. And I was wondering if this is a break. That's what it is. It's a break. All right, so that completes that micrometer right there. <clears throat> I'm going to keep my eye on another one of those for the other mic that's up here on the top here. All right, we got some more scales here. Here's another Starrett. And we got 64th and 30 seconds and 30 seconds on that side there. Brown and sharp. Brown and sharp. A little rust on that one. We got a stare it there. 12 inch stare it scale. And we got 50th and hundredths on there. I like that one. Okay, one of these is lying. Oh, one's. <laughs> Leave it to the millimeters to, to, to give a short you on link there. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, here's a little tiny tap handle. It's kind of neat. I don't know if that's homemade or not. It's got his name on it. Okay, here's here's a an <clears throat> here's another drill gauge, and I have a couple of drill gauges right now, and I'm gonna be sh showing this, um, and, and this has it on here. This is Standard Tool Company, Cleveland, Ohio. Twist drills, reamers, cutters, special tools. Um, I'm gonna be breaking this out again in the future here in, in my videos. I, I, I everybody wants to see tool sharpening and this and that, and you know I, I I've got to keep up work and a couple other things there but here is here's another great handy tool and these are different angles here so you got uh, a, a, a lesser angle and a steeper you got 118 degree there you got 135 degree here I don't know what my other gauge is there and I'll get into explaining the, those those angles and um, and how how you can use this gauge here to make sure that your side to side is equal and that's how you get two chips to peel out of there at the same time all right very important uh, gauge to have there all right here's some more sharpening stones and another rex tool bit nice radius cutter boy that's a, you know that's that's pretty pretty good radius there to be ground in there <clears throat> All right, now here's, somebody is showing up on their welding, okay? Here's a razor blade welded to a piece of steel. There's the edge of the razor blade welded. There's that. It's pretty neat. All right, a couple uh, V-tails. Here's a Starrett. That would go with the Starrett gauge there. 
here's an older style not sure which it would go to all right and here's another Morris taper set up with a center drill and it looks like he silver soldered that center drill in there we can break that loose out of there and here's another pair here's a real nice pair of brown and sharp or morphodites there's a round tip there it's usually in most of them there this is a non-adjustable set but you can slide this out and then come along your item and scribe your lines piece of tubing scribe That almost looks homemade right there. A pair of uh, outside calipers. Okay, now I'm getting ready to close up this drawer and go down to the next, okay? Now we're just talking about the razor blade walling, okay? And there isn't too much else left in here. Some uh, spring load dividers and stuff for this 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 tray in here. And actually that's, that's what this is right in here. They, these are dividers. All right. Um, Here's a ball bearing, and here's a piece of wire, and it's walled there, and it's just balled on the end there. All right, and evidently you had to reach in and grab something. All right, and that <laughs> you're gonna get in there and get it done, get her done. Okay, there's some talent in this uh, in this box here, and and it actually we've seen a little bit of different things in this in this whole collection of tools. All right, now we're going for the final drawer of all of them. All right, <clears throat> and here's another square. Nice bubble in there. You know, the reason why I say that is actually I have a square with a broken bubble. <sighs> all right, and where is that ball with a point? Here's the ball with a point, and that's where I think that goes. Most of the time, it's not in there. Most of the time, it gets pulled out or whatever. But that's that's a little scriber tool. That's neat. This almost feels like it's a Sterrett set right here. It is Sterrett right there. Wow. That'd be my first Sterrett set. And this is probably a Sterrett here too, LS Sterrett. Now there's a screw in over there, there's only one adjustment here. Ah, uh, look at that, it's broke. Uh, that sucks. But I'm going to take that apart and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to solder that together. I can silver solder that. Repair that. That's cool. And we're just going to we'll clamp this all 100%. I'll get that. Okay, now this I hate to see this, but a little bit of rust there. This is a Sterrett micrometer, number 436, one inch. Ratchet still works. Thimble feels right and nice and smooth. Get a rag. I'm just going to use one of these bags here. Don't store your tools in the basement, please. That's a beautiful micrometer. You see that that micrometer is basically my micrometer on my on my logo. That was I took the Sterrett uh, and used that as my logo. All right, here's here's a brown and sharp. 
that one reads zero. I didn't I didn't clamp that one all the way down, but uh, and this can be adjusted there. There's your lock downs for your adjustment. There's no adjustment on the spindle there. Uh, Brown and Sharp logo there. That's a pretty clean micrometer also. Alright, let's see what's in the box here. Mm -hmm. 